Realistic to someone named Dimitri Right off a bed has put the paper Trump thinks his good fortune Don Jr. says that Moscow is this is out of proportion So who the heck's for a bottle of them Who no one has the knowledge of And Michael Flint's in Moscow And he's eating noodles from up His wife says he's not coming up His bank accounts were thrown up And money is the subject which the two of them were done enough Trade scruples, up for enough For rubles, he's done enough And now he'll need security as if it's not their credit I make it a policy never to be alone with a woman unless she's my wife. Well, I am wondering if perhaps you'll say a few words to our audience. Ah, well, I can do that. Perhaps you could tell them a little bit about yourself. I'm a colorless Paul, a born-again Christian, and I know that Jesus listens when I pray. Flash, bam, alakazam, I can fix you if you're gay. If a fella likes guys, he ought to like ladies. A man should choose a woman for a mate. Flash, bam, alakazam, I can make a gay man straight. Hi, Nancy Holson, I'm the writer of Me the People. I'm Jim Rusick, the producer of Me the People. We really have a show that we created about the principles and the ideas that are that we feel are really in jeopardy right now. The, some of the, um, the specifics change, and we adjust to deal with the specifics that are changing, but the, the concepts, the attack on education, the attack on the environment, um, all of these things are, are principles that we deal with in a kind of in a macro sense as well. I had uh, an advertising agency back in the uh, uh, beginning of the 21st century, and um, Nancy was creating a show called News and Review, and uh, we, we became the advertising agency for that show. Uh, as the Bush administration beca became more sinister, uh, we, I said, listen, why don't we take a lot of the left of center things that you've been doing in News and Review, put them all on one show, and, uh, and bop uh, the Bush administration over the bean with, with, you know, with ridicule, I mean, in a funny way. Um, and that's what we did. So we did Bush Wars, that was 2006. And uh, after, after that, uh, you know, Obama became president. And, and we, 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 had, we took an eight, we took an eight <laughs> year, uh, you know, hiatus. Well, at least from, uh, I, I went back to News and Review, which is the show that I did, I've done for 20 years. And I went we, back to advertising. Right. <laughs> and then Trump was elected and it was time for us to reunite. It was just clear that um, what, what we did during the time that we did Bush Wars was kid stuff compared to what we needed to do. Yeah, and I mean, and, and we just don't want to normalize, we don't want to allow people to say, well, this is what it is, you know, there's nothing we can do about it. We want to ridicule and mock what's going on constantly because we can't accept it. We cannot accept self-dealing, uh, uh, fact-averse government. And we, we really believe that in order, it, if you, you normalize it if you don't do something about it. And both of us feel you have to do whatever you can do in the, if you feel as strongly as we do and as the people that are our audience do. This is what we can do. My name is Richard so Spitaletta. Hi, I'm Mia Weinberger, and this is Me the People. Challenges of the show are definitely taking moments to breathe, and there are truly so few of those moments, but taking moments to breathe remembering where you are, getting yourself back on the ground, setting up for what's next, and going for it. 
And a uh, challenge for uh, in preparing for this show was creating our impressions of these characters because they're obviously very well known right now and um, are they're all sort of hot button characters mm. at this point in time. So choosing the traits of these characters that we wanted to portray and exaggerate uh, was a challenge, but so fun.